Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to do a review on the Valco Baby Velo Pram Stroller. Um, my dog's sitting right in the frame at the bottom. <laughs> That's where he wants to sit. It is what it is. Let's just get straight into the review. First thing that I want to note about this Pram that is an amazing feature is it's so lightweight. That's the whole thing. I mean, there's no child or bag or anything on it but the weight of it is extremely light. So it weighs around eight and a half kilos, making this stroller so lovely and lightweight to push, easy to pull up stairs, um, and it's not tippy either. So it's stable and light. And that is always what Valco has going for them, is that they are light and they are really nice, strong, suitable prams that are gonna last. When you buy at the moment, you get two years warranty, plus if you register in the first three months of owning the product, the Pram, then you also get an extra one year warranty. The next really cool feature is the hood size. So when you put the hood out, you have the option to have it a small hood. You can unzip it and make it bigger, and you can unzip it again and the hood goes all the way down, covering all the way down. And if you lift the bottom up, you can just about encase the whole pram seat. There is another zipper on the back of the hood that is actually a mesh airflow. So even if you have the hood all the way covered over, you can still allow the air to come through. The handlebars are a nice brown leatherette material, which of course matches with the belly bar. And I absolutely love this little indentation of the logo along the front here. You can lock the front wheels by lining up this little part in between these two pieces and pressing down firmly. Now your wheels are locked in place for rough terrain. If you don't think that these wheels will be enough for the terrain, Valco are now making an infinity wheel, which is just like a pump up wheel, but it has foam on the inside, so it can't get a puncture. You can buy the infinity wheels separately and upgrade your Valco baby velo. To put the wheels back on swivel, simply pull up on the front and your wheels are free. If you'd like to take the front wheels off, simply press this button here and the wheel will drop out and just click it back in. To remove the back wheels is just this button here. Press it in and pull the wheel off. We have a maximum of 22 kilos in the stroller seat. The brakes are really easy to use and it has lock and unlock on the picture here, the diagram, so you just simply push it to one side, the right hand side and it locks in place and push it back. This is really nice and easy if you're wearing thongs or flip-flops. You don't have to squish your toes under it. You literally just press it on either side. The storage basket is huge and you can fit so much in it. I also really love this back pocket. You have two large big pockets that are separated and then this little net pocket on the outside. Put your phone, wallet, keys, drink bottle, all of that fun stuff in there. To remove the belly bar, you just press in over here and lift up. And it pivots out. You can do it on both sides if you'd like to remove it completely. And just pop it back in. The five-point harness can be put back together as a three-point harness if you have a toddler that doesn't like to have those chest straps on. Or of course, to put it together, you just simply slide them together and click it in. have to 
learn is that this top part here goes into the top part up here. I was trying to put it like down the bottom, but as soon as you learn it, it's so easy. Yeah, I think it just, it goes up higher than what you initially think it's going to, but it's very easy to do. So I'm not sure if Valko intended for this to be used this way or not, but hear me out. If you've got the pram in seat mode, I feel like you could sneak a few little things in here. Keep in mind, if you have a child sitting in it, that it is going to sit wonky down on one side. But if you're going somewhere, you can definitely pack some extra items in here. When the child comes out of the pram, or you take the child out of the pram and they're not using it, you can definitely use this storage space. A little extra bit of storage. I don't know, a jumper, spare drink bottle just in there out of the way. Something that you're not going to need, like you're not going to put your keys and your phone in there, unless you're going to hide them so that no one can see them. So I feel like that's a nice little hidey hole there. You don't want to use it unzipped because the child's going to sit to one side and it would probably damage the other side of the zipper if it's not supported on both sides. If we would like to change the direction of the seat or take the seat off, we have these levers here. There's one here and you can see the other one over here. That back one is helpful when you turn the seat around the other way. So to lift the seat off, we're going to use those two front levers and just lift up, change the seat around, place it back on. And now if you were to want to remove the seat again, the levers would be on the inside here and a little difficult to grab, but you can use the other ones that are on the outside now. So the levers do the same thing. They are just in different positions so it's easier for you to remove the seat each time. To fold the Velcro Baby Velo, we want to use the safety on the side. So we're going to press this button in here. And then we're going to squeeze the trigger on the handle with one hand. So you can press this in with one hand, hold this with one hand, squeeze. We can put the brake on if you want to. If you don't want to fold the seat on, you can easily take the seat off. And there's even a carry handle. It is so light guys, honestly, so light. We have a safety on the side just here. We're going to pull the safety so that the little um, notch comes out. We're just going to flick the handle and it just flicks right out. It's so easy, it practically does it itself. Now, the cool thing that I want to show you, which is why I really like this pram. This pram can fall down with the seat on while parent facing. Let's show you. So we're going to put the seat on. What we're going to do is the seat is sitting upright. We have these two little buttons here on both sides. We're going to press those both in. And then we have the two big buttons below them. We're going to press those both in at the same time too. And it's going to recline the seat upside down. Now we're going to follow the normal steps of folding. So the safety down here and the one-handed trigger. As you can see, we have a really nice fold. You can bring this up or down. Let's move this down a bit so it's not so dry. And that is folded, rear facing, parent facing. Isn't that cool? I think that's absolutely amazing. And then the same steps to open it back up, so we want to get the safety and open it. And we're just going to pull on the handlebar. It's going to flip back out. Put your seat back in the position that you want it to be in. And you're ready to go. two buttons on 
either side, press them both in. You have one, two, three positions to choose from. And there's also a little diagram on the side that has one, two, and three, so you can know which seating position you're on. So it has a bassinet mode. Not a bassinet, but a bassinet mode. So we're going to lay the pram down to flat. And we're going to unzip this weird little compartment thing that I was telling you about before. If you would like to see how to do this step by step, I have another video where I built the pram. I built it to seat and then I built it to bassinet. So there's a step by step on how to do that. Or you can follow along with what I'm doing here. Now I've got some clips to undo down here. Just got two there. We're going to move this seat. Um, what is that called? That is the seat, the footrest, where it pivots. On the back, we're going to undo the clips. So I think we've got four clips to do on the back here. Do you see? Looks like a bassinet, doesn't it? But wait, there's more. Oops. You also get this little bassinet insert with it. So it actually has a hard plastic bottom with a foam mattress on top and it's white and luxurious and beautiful. The little pocket goes at the feet of the baby. So there's a little pocket here. Let's take the belly bar off. Oh yeah, you have to take the hood off as well. Again, I have a proper tutorial of how to do this. I'm just doing it pretty quickly so you can have an understanding of what I'm doing. bar is optional but I always like it to be able to take the seat on and off when you're folding it. I feel like it gives you something to hold on to once you've grabbed it by the levers. And you also get this little toweling insert that goes in and can be velcroed in. It's a bassinet now and it was just a seat. And I will tell you something that I really, really, really appreciate about this pram is I have had a few prams that turn from seat to bassinet and when trying to wash them, it's a bathtub experiment. You need to put the whole seat in the bathtub and scrub at it. This one actually comes apart. So all of the plastics and like bum boards and the boards that are in come out and all of this fabric can go in the wash hood can go in the wash. The basket comes off, everything, all the fabric comes off to go in the wash. If you'd like to see a video on how to wash it, I've also done one of those, so that will be up on my channel, along with the box opening. And if you're adding another little one into the family and need a double pram, I also have a box opening of the Valco Baby Slim Twin, plus I'll do a how to wash video and a review on that one as well. I'll just show you a little overview. So here's your pocket to put your phone or whatever in. It looks nice and cozy in here. I really like the white. It looks really nice. It goes really good with the blue and the brown. And you might think that this is not comfy enough, but honestly, trust me, babies are not that heavy and their weight distributes along the foam and it's really comfortable for them. So along with the seat being the bassinet, that means that you get the hood with all of the same functions that you had 
that the seat had. So you have the air mesh along here. So you can roll this up. You have the air mesh all the way through, which is nice. I would try and roll these little clips up to make it really nice and tidy, but it's not really that much of a problem. The weight with the bassinet is around eight and a half kilos because absolutely nothing changed except we added a piece of fabric in. But honestly, I think it's a really, really nice pram. It's lightweight, it's really functional. One last thing I forgot to show you guys about, which is this boot cover. But it's a boot cover for both. <laughs> it's so cool. So right now it's in bassinet mode. So it's got this part here all strapped up and it will go on the bassinet. So this is how it sits on when it's in bassinet mode. And there's also like a um, hard plastic here. So it actually keeps it up and off bub. It attaches on the sides by these two little clips, the studs, and you just pull it off. And if you want to use it while you've got the seat, you just undo these two little parts here. And it gives you this whole extra part, which goes under the seat when you use it. So obviously in seat mode and it kind of like sits up a bit further and then this part has the hard plastic in it, it doesn't sit on the baby and annoy the baby. So yeah, I honestly think this is a really, really smart design and then it makes it cheaper because they don't have to make two boot covers and you don't have to store two boot covers because let's be real, you only use it half of the year anyways. <laughs> So that is my review on the Valco Baby Bello. Like I said before, if you want to see the unboxing video, I have that on my channel. How to wash it, I have that on my channel. And if you are welcoming another baby into the family, I also have the unboxing of the Valco Baby Slim Twin on my channel. And I will be doing a how to wash the Slim Twin and also a review on the Slim Twin. Definitely drop your comments on this pram below. I always enjoy hearing what you think about these prams and strollers that I'm reviewing. Don't forget to subscribe and comment for more content just like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.